Welcome back to another video. How are we? All good, I hope. Bit of a different video for me today. It's not going to be my normal ride. I am actually away snowboarding this week, so uh, I've not had any time to be able to get out and record anything for you guys. It's just a little how-to video. You've probably seen for some previous videos that uh, I snapped the rear mud guard off the off the Suron, so had to replace it. And uh, yeah, basically just recorded the process, just in case anyone needs to do the same or take the seat off. It's just a little step by step guide on how to do it and how uh, how I found it basically. We have just had a massive disaster though. Absolute flat tyre. Oh no. What a nightmare. I'm about four miles out as well. <laughs> so yeah, we're not going to get a lot of riding in today. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully back to normal next week. But uh, yeah, for now, enjoy the video. Uh, this one today is just going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to go out riding today. And um, this is just a little bit of maintenance I need to do on the bike and a few things I need to repair. Um, probably saw from the last video, completely snapped off the rear fender. So today's video, we are going to get a new one put on. Uh, I went for the carbon fiber effect on this one just to try and match the sort of black and white theme that we've got going on. So I may put decals over it at some point, but I thought if we're going to get a new one, then we might as well go carbon fibre. So, yeah, just a little video today, really, just to uh, get this popped on. I've got a couple of other little upgrades to do that I might make in a future video, but today this is what it's all about, just so we don't get splattered in mud every time we go out riding. So, uh, yeah, let's get into it. The first thing I need to do is basically we need to take all this section off here. So, I don't know if you can see up there, I've got these little rivets that need to come out. So we've got three on either side. I think there's some underneath as well. So need to pop those off first so we can access the seat and then we can move on to the next stage and get the rest off. So for this bit all I've done was just got a flat knife and just uh, prized it out a little bit and then once they come loose they just pop out. So if you can see that on the camera that's all they are that's the little rivets that are in there but yeah pretty straightforward to get out so put those to one side ready to go back in. Now removed all of the rivets from each side, so three on each side, and there is now a sneaky one. I don't know if you can see kind of there. So there's one hidden under that side, obviously one on this side as well, so I need to get those off as well. So once you've got these rivets out, you can see obviously now this is uh becomes loose, so you can now pull this down. It's a little bit fiddly just to just to pull it completely off, but obviously then this whole section will drop down and then it's just easy to access these bolts here. I believe they're 12 millimeters. I think there's four of them in total. And that will hopefully release the seat. So that's the first two bolts off here. Obviously then you've got two more just back here as well, just to take off. These are actually 10 mil, not 12 mil. Uh, my mistake, I thought they were actually a 12 mil, but uh, they actually turned out to be a 10. But yeah, nice and easy to get to now that that guard's down. So uh, yeah, we'll get these off and then it should release the seat. So there we go, that's the seat all removed. Nice and simple. we we'll now get the new mud guard fitted to the seat and get it all put back together. So 
So to attach the new mud guard, really, really simple. You've got three clips there, so it literally slots over. Once you've got it in position, just push it back and that clips in to that section there. And then the bolts will go back on. And there we go, new mud guard. So once we've got the bolts back on, it's now time to put this scarf back on. So it's literally the same process, just repeated in reverse. So put the rivets back in to each hole, pop the pins back through, and uh, yeah, we're good to go. So there we go, all put back together. We'll put it back in, all screw back up. And there we go, that's the end result of the uh, rear fender. I think it sort of goes with the theme of the bike. I might get a, uh, a decal to go on there, but something a little bit different. And to be fair, it is a much needed part, especially when you're riding trails and things like that. It wasn't that difficult to fit. I'm not a huge fan of these rivets, if I'm honest. There must be a better way of uh, attaching this bottom section to the, the actual seat itself. Um, a little bit fiddly, feel great, but uh, if it does the job, then I guess it's all good. But um, yeah, I'm sure it's got to be a better way of keeping that tray on there, but all back together. And on to the next one. Sorry, this wasn't the most exciting video that I've ever put out there, but um, it was a much needed piece of maintenance that needed doing on the bike. so. Thought I might as well record it and if you have got one of these and uh, you experienced obviously breaking it and trying to get a new one on there, it might help someone if uh, you're struggling to find out how the actual seat comes off one of these things. But uh, stay tuned, video's dropping every Thursday. I'll be back out riding soon, but like I said, just something I needed to get done. Uh, whilst I'm in here, I am going to make another video on a, uh, a new part that I've just picked up, um, a performance part. So. Hopefully we should uh, be getting some content on that in the next week or so, some uh, first impressions and uh, see if it makes a difference. So there we are, hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, nothing too exciting this week, but uh, just trying to get as much content out there as I can. So thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.